Hi. Hi, kids. Hi, stupid sons. Hi, speech superstars. Mrs. Dolfa and Wellman. I'm going to read you a story. This story is called Don't Call Me Pig, a Havelina story. It's written by Conrad Storad, and it's illustrated by Beth Neely and Don Rance. Hey, I lost my eyeball, kids. When it says written by, that person is also called what? Who is the person that writes a story? What are they called? Ministries? No, they're called an author. Author. And when somebody illustrates a story, what are they called? Illustrator. Illustrator. Excellent. All right. So if you saw our preview video, it was to tell you guys that this story is about a desert animal. It is not a pig. It is a Havelina. Havelina. All right. Let's find out more about our Havelina. I saw this. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you do read, it's past tense. Every day I read, yesterday I read. Red. That's a rule breaker. Here we go. Welcome to my story. Please pay attention well. I'm an odd looking creature and I have a tale to tell. I am a Havelina, but I have other names you see. In hot, dry Arizona, I'm called a collared peccary. Ah, oh, there's a few words on this page. The word odd. What does odd mean? If he's odd looking, is he pretty normal looking or kind of a weird looking animal? A weird looking animal. Odd means weird or strange. And then it says that he has a tale to tell. Wait, a tale? That kind of tale? Or tail meaning a story to tell. I was in my butt. Just like all of my students at Carminati, we of course use our manners, right, Ronan? Yes. Thank you. All right. This animal lives in the hot, dry desert of Arizona. So you might see one of these one day. Have you ever seen one, Ronan? Actually, you have. You saw one when we went to the Sonoran Desert Museum, which is down in Tucson, Arizona. It's about is hour it a is it a real one? 45 minutes. Yeah, it was a real one, but it's in uh, what's called a museum. It's kind of like a zoo. But mommy's friend, he posted a video. <coughs> bless you. He posted a video the other day, and he lives in Cave Creek. And guess what? They had javelinas in their backyard. So you could see a javelina if you go out in the desert. All right, let's find all, all about this javelina. My body is thin and muscular. Among cactus and pines I roam. I like the rocky scrubland. The Sonoran Desert is my home. If anybody's gone hiking lately, you may have seen cactus with flowers like this. We saw some, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you notice about this picture? What do you see? Flowers of cactus. Uh huh. Flowers on top of cactus. What else? See a big cactus? Yes, a very, very tall cactus. That one is called a saguaro cactus. It's very tall and it grows arms. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It does. What else do we see? Does anybody know what this one is called? Uh, uh, uh. Gila. Gila monster. What about this bird drinking from the flower? What's that one called? A hummingbird. It is a hummingbird. All right, let's see. And on this page, what is that Havelina doing? He's just resting, taking a nap in the middle of the desert. Well, the cactus, I can poke its back. Yeah, you would think it poked its back, but it doesn't poke a javelina very much. So let's find out. 
I live with lots of family members. The herd can grow quite big. Though I'm shy, I have one request. Don't ever call me pig. <gasps> People think he is a pig. The javelinas are pigs, but are they pigs? Nope. Wait a second. Who is that sneaky animal in the middle of their family? The big bad wolf. Ooh, it does look like a big bad wolf, but it's actually a coyote. Hmm. Why is there a coyote in there? So why do you think there's a coyote in there? What can I, what does a coyote like to eat? Uh, coyote. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. There's a word on this page, and he says that his herd can grow quite big. What is a herd? A herd is a group of animals. And can you give me a synonym for the word big? Another word for big can be. Hmm. Huge, gigantic, gigantic, enormous, large. All right. I am a javelina. Look close, I have no tail. I live in southwestern deserts with coyotes, jackrabbits, and quail. Quail are the little birds that have the plume on top of their head. It's like a little feather. Hold on one second, boys and girls. I am going to pause this so I can close the blinds a little bit. I see there's a glare on the book. A little bit better. All right, I want to show you the picture. Ooh. Don't call me pig. Don't call me pig. And in this picture... We see javelinas climbing on top of each other to get to the cactus. And who's hiding behind the cactus? A rabbit. A jackrabbit. And Rowan asks, what are quail? Quail are these birds, and they have a plume on top of their head. And you usually see them in the desert running. A lot of times you see them running across a street. And then it also said that coyotes are in the desert. And these coyotes are howling at what? What are they howling at? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are the coyotes howling at? The moon. The moon. Oh! Woo. Why? I don't know. Because coyotes, do they sleep at night like we do? No. No. They are awake at night. And that kind of animal has a descriptor word to describe it. Does anybody know what it is when you are awake at night and you hunt at night? You are nocturnal. Nocturnal. What is that? My fur is coarse and bristly, black and gray with a collar of white. My dark eyes are small and beady. It's true, I have bad eyesight. So, do javelinas really wear glasses? No. No. But it's showing us that if a javelina was like a person, it would need to wear glasses because its eyesight is very bad. It's very poor. Uh, and they're not able to see very well. Like persons. Mm-hmm. On this picture, it just shows kind of a silly picture of... Them, they're ready to have a picnic, but it looks like the lizard was trying to have a picnic with them. And so they shook out their blanket and whoo, lizard flew through the air. Why? I don't know. My snout is tough as leather. Both plants and fruit I eat. I like the taste of bugs and snakes, but prickly pear cactus is a treat. So what does a coy or oh not a coyote, what does a javelina eat? Cactus. Cactus. It's called a prickly pear cactus when it's these round circular kind of cactus. Behind them, those are called feral cactus. Can, can mm-hmm. And how come it can eat it? Can we eat cactus like this? Mm -hmm. No. Why can it eat it? What did it say? It's snout. 
So that's like its nose and its mouth together. Its snout is tough. It's very tough. It's like leather, which means that it doesn't get poked very easily. So it can eat that kind of stuff. What else does it eat? It eats bugs and tails. snakes. And tails. And tails? Chairs. Oh, chairs? I don't think it eats chairs. My front teeth are shaped like javelins. The Spaniards thought it so. I use my snout and teeth for digging. I gobble roots and berries where they grow. So this one is showing a picture, again, kind of as though javelinas were people, but they are not people. Uh, and it's telling us that a javelina can dig in the dirt with its teeth. Why can it dig with its teeth? Because um, its teeth are very what? Strong. They are strong, but what else are they? They're very strong. sharp. Good. Can you use that fat air sound? Sharp. sharp. Nice. When danger is near, I stand my ground. My safety does not matter. A loud grunt signals to my herd in all directions scatter. What does scatter mean? Battle. If they're going to scatter, are they going to stay together? Yeah. Or are they going to go away from each other and break apart? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> my skinny legs have just three toes. It's my head that grows quite big. But if you want to keep me happy, don't ever call me pig. I am a javelina, not a pig at all, you see. In the wilds of the southwestern deserts, I'm called a collared peccary. I guess that jackrabbit must have called him what? Mm-hmm. Mm don't call me pig. Why are you wearing that t-shirt? I don't know, because it's a funny thing. Funny thing to add to a picture. All right, the word skinny. Can anybody give me a synonym for skinny? Skinny. If something is skinny, it is very thin. Thin. And what's the opposite of skinny? If you're not skinny, you are something might be Fun. fat or Fun. thick. Or strong. My scent is strong and stinky. Mm. Sniff. You might smell me near. Look close. You may never see me. Only grunting sounds you'll hear. Ah, oh, so javelina are kind of tricky because usually they're kind of hidden and they like to go where it's cooler in the desert, like under a rock or under a bridge somewhere. And so you can't always see them, but you can smell them because they're stinky. And they make grunting sounds. <laughs> kind of like a pig, but not a pig. And they're showing the skunks there to say that even the skunks think javelinas are stinky. And what's stinkier than a skunk? I guess a javelina. I have Scent glands below each eye, a big one along my back. I use the smell to mark herd land and to know members of my pack. So javelinas use their stinky smell in order to know where they've been and to know who is in their family. So these pictures are showing the javelina rubbing up against the tree. Although that looks... Yeah, that's a javelina back there, I think. And this one is showing it kind of like a joke, that he has perfume, and it's eau de javelina, which is like javelina perfume, which nobody would want. And on this page, it shows the javelina rubbing up against each other because they know from their smell that that's part of their, that one is part of their family. And then he's rubbing up against a rock, I think, to say, hey, this is where I've been. Because remember, do they have good eyesight or bad eyesight? Bad eyesight. So they use their stinky smell in order to find their family members and where they live and where they go. 
I weigh as much as 60 pounds. I stand two feet tall. That's big. Just one thing you should remember, don't ever call me I am a javelina, not a pig at all. You see, in Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, I'm called a pollard peccary. Now you know my story. One last thing before I run. Tell your friends about javelina, because learning is always fun. Yeah. So now it's nighttime in this story, and it's showing us another animal that might come out at night. What is that animal? A bat. And the bat is coming so that it can drink some of the nectar from the flowers. And maybe catch some insects too, huh? Oh, javelina. Oh, what's, no, a bat's not going to eat a javelina. What's a javelina eating? A cactus again. Because a javelina loves a delicious cactus. And then these last few pages gives us some information about the javelinas. Just tells us a little bit more about them. Tells us that they're pig-like, but not actually a pig. And don't they, tell it, them the kids this. Don't tell them what? Don't don't read this to them. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna tell them a couple things, okay? Um, you up. Their teeth are very pointy and sharp. Um, the javelina has three toes on its hind feet. A wild boar has four toes. They have sharp tusks that grow downward. And they're used to dig up roots, seeds, insects, and grub worms. And they have tough snouts because their nose and their mouth together. And they can eat cactus and other spiny desert plants. They can also eat small snakes, lizards, and bugs. Bugs. Mm, yummy. And they live bugs for we can for we can get bite from them. Yeah. I don't want to be bit by a bug. Uh, and they live in big groups of their family. And they can smell each other. Oh, I smell a stinky. Oh, you smell like a javelina. And their enemies are coyotes, bobcats, and mountain lions. <laughs> The herd will stick together to fight or scatter quickly. And they use their sounds, their grunts and their squeals and their barking noises. And remember, they can't see really well, so they have to rely on each other. But the most important thing you need to remember is don't ever call them pig. I call them pig. Oh, no, don't call them pig. They don't live on the farm. Yes, I the do. And where do javelinas live? They live in the desert. In the desert. So that's it for Don't Call Me Pig. We hope that you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye, kids. Amen. Bye.